Hey everybody, today what we are gonna do is compare a couple different masks for the COVID-19 crisis, tell you which mask may be best for you, and also dispel a couple medical myths. I'm Dr. Brad Glowacki. I'm the founder of The Wellness Champions, and everybody calls me Dr. Glow. What I'm gonna do is review some different masks that are out there for COVID-19. But what I like to do is base my information on the research. And re the research really, where it comes from this source becomes super important. So one of the most respected journals out there, medical journals, is the British Medical Journal. And if you're anything like me, when somebody says it with a British accent, it just sounds more intelligent and it sounds cooler. So we won't be doing that today, but it is from the British Medical Journal. And the one I wanna start with is actually the N95. Now the reason this is a great mask is actually it keeps out about 95% of the particles that are gonna be coming into the face mask, things you wanna keep out. And it actually goes all the way down to 0.3 micrometers. Now the reason that's important is that's a really small particle, 0.3, and the fact it keeps out 95% is maybe why they named it the N95 mask. Now that keeps out 95%. The next jump is a cloth disposable mask, and this one actually keeps out about 20% of particles. So big jump from here to here. But unfortunately, one of the things that we noticed in looking at this article and also some of the research and literature around these masks is how form-fitting these are. And the sides of these masks, when they open space or they have gaps, it actually allows in a lot more particles. In reference to the COVID-19 specifically, that particle size is 0.1 to 0.2. Keep in mind, this mask keeps things out from 0.3 and above. So in fact, it isn't super effective specifically for COVID. 95% of the other stuff, sure it is, but not specifically for COVID. So this is why a lot of surgeons will just opt for this because this keeps out 20%. It's some of the stuff, but it's more comfortable, it's tighter, and it's more form fitting on the side, which could be argued it's actually keeping more out than if there's gaping holes on the sides of the N95. Now this beautiful thing is a fashion statement. It's oftentimes made in our office by our patients or for our team and they're beautiful and it's awesome and it might be something that you wanna make for your grandmother, but you'd really be leaving her at risk because this doesn't keep much out. In fact, if you look at what the cloth has or even some of the disposable ones, they're not meant to be more uh, worn more than once. So if you put these things up against your face, what the research shows is that actually the moisture can increase infection. In other words, moisture in the cloth can leave you more susceptible to lung infections. That's really the risk factor with COVID-19 is it's attacking some portions of the respiratory um, anatomy and things like asthma, allergies, COPD. Um, these are all things that leave people really susceptible to having very negative outcomes. In fact, it could kill them. Uh, things like comorbidities means late stage diabetes. These are all known factors that you gotta get these mask types right because if it is for your sweet grandmother, you don't wanna leave them exposed just because it's a beautiful fashion piece. You'd wanna go with something that's a little more legitimate that actually keeps things out, but I don't want you to be falsely lured into thinking that one is safer than the other or that it keeps 100% out. You gotta know the facts. And then our last sample here is a homemade sample, kind of in the process. And we had someone that was explaining how they were doing it. Now this thing is so transparent, I can almost see it through the camera. And I'm not sure if it's an old t-shirt, maybe it's an old pair of underwear, probably not something you should put against your face multiple days in a row. If you wouldn't wear a t-shirt seven days in a row, I'm gonna suggest you don't wear a cloth up against your face either seven days in a row. These things have actually been shown to basically fester and keep infection and particles that you don't want. I've watched people put them on one way and then flip it around and put it on the other way. They're not even sure which side is the correct side to use. In any of these scenarios, these are meant to be single use masks, meaning they're disposable. You're not supposed to be wearing these things multiple days in a row. So please understand they're supposed to be thrown away. If you have no other option and you are using some of these things, 
wash them like you would a t-shirt with regularity because again the moisture up against the face and the lack of cleanliness could actually be creating other problems and above all with the masks sometimes people are forced to wear them sometimes there's rules going on i just want to remind people that you have an immune system and good chance that you've been exposed to some of the things that are out there not to say that you shouldn't follow the rules if you need to wear a mask but i want to remind you you have an innate ability to heal you're exposed to germs on a consistent and regular basis you've got over a thousand viruses in your body at any one time and specifically covid is responsible for about 25% of children's common cold. So what's known as the common cold, one in four kids, that's COVID. And that's one particular population in this current outbreak that's doing really well. They've built up the antibodies, they've been exposed to it, what's known as herd immunity, and they've built up a natural immunity. If you have a family member or friend that is immune compromised, please, I would suggest these two masks over here versus anything that's cute and homemade. Remember they are for single use. And then if someone is immune compromised, take all the necessary precautions possible. And again, I'd remind you, you have an immune system. Do the things you can control in your own variables. Keep your own innate immunity high. And like anything, be smart. I think right now, sanitation is perhaps more important than even the medication just the prevention side of it. These are some tools you should use. These are things maybe you shouldn't use, but I'm gonna leave that up to you. This is what we know from the British Medical Journal 2015. This keeps out 95%, make that an option, the N95. These are cloth ones, single use. They keep out about 25%, but the more you touch your face, adjust your mask, and open up the sides, the less effective these masks are. Hey, if you like this video, certainly hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you'll get notifications when other videos come out. If you like this video, you might really enjoy a 20 minute interview I did with a good friend. He is a medical doctor that also works with Team USA, the Olympic team, but he just got through COVID-19. You might find his insight and his personal experience super enlightening. So look for that video and if you like this one, give it a thumbs up. Hey, we look forward to helping you out in the future. Like, subscribe, hit the bell so the notifications come to you. I just want to keep people healthy and on the wellness side of the equation so we don't need to talk about sickness and disease.